hello youtube welcome to my channel secret point my name is milan and in this video session onwards i am going to create a small login application without using the drag and drop functionality provided by netbeans okay so i am not going to use the drag and drop features what netbeans is providing to us to develop our application i am just going to write simple j label and j text field j password field j button and uh, by using those component i am going to create a small login interface and uh, later we will switch from means we will provide the login credential and uh, if the login credential is correct information is provided in the login credential then it will move to the next home page okay so based on this concept we are going to make a small application so before doing that uh, you should watch how to create a frame okay some of the basic functions or methods what it is available in the jframe okay so in order to get acquainted with that you can watch my previous videos or else uh, i'm just going to cover quickly in this video session okay so let's begin here in the screen you can see that uh, i was written one dummy program it it is not having much code actually it is having just uh, one main method and uh, within that main method i am calling one method that get frame and uh, in that get frame method i was written that frame creation logic okay so what is the alignment of that frame what uh, what is the clo default close on operation and uh, what is the title of the frame what is the layout uh, how to set the background of the frame all those things i was done in this program okay this one already i have done i have ma already made a video on this uh, you if you want you can watch those or else uh, i'm just going to revise those thing so here for your information i just written that uh, some of the comment here okay hope you can see it let me open the magnifier hmm now you can see might be okay so in the screen you can see that these are the some of the notes what i was written for you here in this program what are the methods i am going to use that are here i written set size method we are going to use which is used to set the width and the height of your frame and uh, set bounds method we are going to use that is going to do the alignment of your frame means uh, through through x coordinate what space you want through y coordinate how much space you want through what is the width of your component what is the height of the component that you can mention by using the set bounds method it is going to set the alignment of your each and every components set location method you can use means in the screen in the computer screen in the window at what location you want your frame to be appear that you can mention by using the set location method or else another method also there set location relative to that one i am going to use in the program i will show you that one okay and uh, this method is set title by using this set title method you can set a title for your frame what were the message you will pass over here that will be reflected as the title of your j frame and uh, set icon image also we are going to use that is going to set the icon to set the icon of a j level or uh, something we can use this uh, method set icon image which is accepting image class object as the parameter okay and set background method also we are going to use which is accepting color class object as parameter and by using this set background method you can set the background color actually and uh, finally set resizable Res resizable method is going to whether you are going to allow the end user to increase or decrease the frame size or not that you can specify by using this set resizable method if you mentioned that set resizable true then end user can drag the length of the frame or else if you will set the set resizable false then the end user is not going to drag means uh, can't change the height and width of that frame that will be fixed okay so let's understand the code now what i was written here so here i was taken the package name as com.googly in the screen you can see that com.googly is my package name and uh, some of the classes what i was using in my program that uh, i was written here okay that uh, that class i was imported here sorry and uh, my class name what i was taken is my first application and it is extending the jframe class okay so basically there are two three approaches are there to create a frame for those if you want you can refer my earlier videos but uh, i'm not going to discuss the what are the approaches are there to create a frame for that you can watch my previous videos here i'm just going to cover how to create a frame by using the above methods what i discussed now okay so in the in my class my first application it is extending from jframe class 
and in that class I was declared a class instance variable that is a message equal to my frame and a icon image icon of reference here okay that it is I'm not I'm not using now up to now but I'm going to use in upcoming sessions I am going to progress this class only in this class only I am going to write all the code so if you will stay tuned then you can able to understand that what I am doing in this class completely okay one after another video I am going to publish the rest of the code what I am going to write in this class okay so let's begin to the get frame method in the get frame method what I was doing is I am creating the frame I am just configuring the frame okay so what the code it is having is I am making the set visible true set visible is the method which is going to make your frame visible on the screen if you will make it true means if you will pass the boolean value true then the frame will be appear on the screen but initially the size of the frame will be very less so we need to mention the size set size by using the set size method you need to specify the height and width of your frame then only it is going to be appear as a normal frame or else a small kind of window it will come I will show you like this okay let's comment this one let's comment other things also one after another I am going to uncomment and I will explain what it is happening okay set receivable also I'm commenting so here in the screen you can see that I commented all the things except to set visual method and in the main method what I was doing is let me go to the main method here is the main method okay these are the some dummy code delete it okay so in the main method you can see that uh, I'm with that object with that um, new uh, anonymous object of that my first application I'm just creating I'm just calling that get frame method and uh, as in the get frame method all the codes are commented except this set visible method so it is just going to so the frame let's run this now our application is running okay here here in the above you can see that uh, our frame got created but it is a very less size means uh, as we have not specified any of the height and width na? so the frame height and width is coming with uh, very less we can drag it but uh, if we want uh, that our frame to be appear with a certain size like this then we should specify some of the methods what I discussed it okay so I think this much is enough for this video session in the next video session I'm going to continue this video okay so stay tuned thanks for watching take care